Hi everyone, this is Sam, and in today's video, I want to talk about the new compliance module that uh, has been added to Cystic Secure. So I'll talk you talk through the this new uh, this new module and the feature that presents. So basically, it gives you the ability to schedule and run the Docker uh, benchmark CIS benchmark and also the Kubernetes CIS benchmark. And if you're not familiar with those, if you do a quick Google search um, under CISsecure.org, the CIS benchmarks, um, CIS stands for Center for Internet Security, if you're not aware of that. And basically, you can download the latest CIS benchmark uh, for Docker, and there's one similar for Kubernetes as well. And uh, this is free, and what you're going to get is a detailed report, in this case, 230 pages for Docker, and a similar one for Kubernetes, and it has multiple sections uh, of how basically to harden your Docker um, Docker environment or Kubernetes environment. You can see here section one, host configuration, and a bunch of subsections, uh, Docker daemon configuration, and, and so on. Very useful when you want to harden your environment, make sure that you follow this, uh, this procedure, and then you know you're, you're compliant. Uh, the Kubernetes piece, a very similar document, as I mentioned earlier, and you have a couple of sections and a few subsections as well. So you can run the Docker bench. You can download it from Docker Hub, uh, download the image, and run it in your environment. But what Cystic Secure allows you to do is basically schedule uh, either the CIS Docker bench or the Kubernetes bench or both, and uh, you can run them. Uh, you know, every 12 hours, a day, a month, every month, and so on. So typically people will, and you can scope this, so typically people would run this maybe every week or so for their development, or maybe, maybe even every month for the, their development environment, but for production you want to run it a little bit more frequently, maybe every 12 hours or once a day. So once you schedule this, and you can add multiple schedules, as you can see here, we have a bunch running, uh, you can look at the results. And you get two reports, either the, the Docker report or the Kubernetes report. So if we click, quickly look at the Docker report, you can see the report is broken down by the different sections in the CIS benchmark for Docker. As you can see, the host configuration that we saw earlier, and it's broken down by warnings, uh, you know, sections that have passed and sections that have failed. Uh, and you can go in and look at every single one of those. So remember the the container or the image will run on the schedule uh, on the schedule that you specify and then this report will come back as the result so this is what the docker environment looks like this is what the kubernetes environment looks like as you can see some failures here uh, but what's neat about this is it actually ties into sysdig monitor so you can actually click on any of these two links it will take you to your monitor dashboard and now we're actually grabbing the these metrics, the compliance metrics, to be able to trend them over time. So here I'm looking at the last hour, but let's take a look at the last two weeks. All right, so at some points here we've, you know, we've been doing okay, and then we, we did a little bit better, and then we went back to to here, right? So you can trend this over time to understand what how we're doing from a compliance perspective over time. You can see things, uh, you know, the, the different sections over time as well, you know, the past rate for each of these sections. You can see 100%, that's really good. Some are under 50%, so probably want to take a look at that. Um, but that really takes you a very detailed report under which container is having issues and uh, what you need to, or what host needs to be hardened and so on. So that's Docker. Uh, we have Kubernetes metrics here. It will show up here as well, as you can see. But you can also build dashboards for that. So because we already have the metrics, and the metrics get shipped to our backend anyway. So you can create whatever dashboards you prefer. So in this case, we're looking at a CIS Docker Bench Section 5 specifically. Maybe this is what your team is mostly interested in. Uh, and then you can look at the different sections and you can plot the um, these charts over time for, for a particular section. Now the last piece here that I want to talk about is uh, folks have been asking me about compliance when it comes to you know PCI compliance and, and other um, 
other compliance metrics. So here's here's PCI from our policies. These are built-in uh, PCI compliance policies. So you can see in this case we got um, we got a few this database modifications policy. Um, you can take a look, quick look at you know it says injection flows, SQL injection, and so on. Um, and you can do a few things with this. So you can uh, and when it comes to action, you can do nothing. Just notify me if, if I ever hit this policy or violation for this policy. You can stop the container, you can pause the container. But what's neat about <clears throat> uh, Cystic Secure is you, you can actually uh, create a an SCAP file, which is a system call file capture, similar to your, uh, your Wireshark PCAP files for network traffic and for packets. So here we, we capture all the system calls five seconds prior to the event and 10 seconds after the event. And in a later video, I can talk about, we'll talk about what the system call level uh, captures give you and how you can do forensics and troubleshooting for that as well. Then you can finally notify, uh, you know, through different, uh, you know, channels such as uh, AWS, uh, PagerDuty, Elasticsearch, uh, any webhook, so you can really integrate with, with anything, and uh, also Slack, as you can see. So hopefully this gives you a quick overview of what you can do with Cystic Secure when it comes to compliancy and how you can monitor your compliancy over time, uh, what we do with Docker Bench and also Kubernetes Bench and some of the PCI compliancy and, and other types of compliancy out of the box. Uh, thank you for watching.